as of June, over 21,000 full-time developers in crypto. Preferably, you want to go where the developers are going, not where they're leaving the door. So comparing the three, Which ecosystem would you pick for the future of crypto? Polkadot, Cosmos, or Cardano? I could give you the answer, but let me actually just show you the, 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 the facts, the data, uh, but still not financial advice. <laughs> a site I go to a lot. You have to follow the devs and see where, where they're going. As of June, over 21,000 full-time developers in crypto. Now, what ecosystems are they spending their time coding? And we want to focus especially on those that are full-time. We can do both full-time, part-time, but I like to focus on those who are actually making a living doing what they're doing. So if we come down here, let's just look at the data, right? Ethereum has 1,900 developers. It's down 11%. Polkadot has 645 developers. It's down 18%. Cosmos has less, 524. So slightly behind Polkadot. But guess what? They have not, they're not losing developers. They're flat in a bear market. In the bottom of a bear market, they're flat. So they have a, a net gain on Polkadot of 18%. And if we go over the last two years, Polkadot has only grown 26% in devs. Cosmos, 81%. And then the other was Cardano. Cardano has 133 full-time developers. It's down 18%. And it's only grown 21% in the last two years. So comparing the three, Cardano is last in the num number of full-time devs. Cosmos has five times more devs, basically, than Cardano. So why would I touch Cardano when Cosmos has five times more devs and is growing faster? Polkadot, while it has more devs, it seems like Polkadot is on the decline. And honestly, I'm, Polkadot ecosystem hasn't really been trending since they had like those launch pads, like Polka Starter. But I, I, I used to roast them uh, saying there were Polkadot projects launching on Ethereum. But we do like Polkadot. Great project, great long term. But my understanding is the whole parachain auction thing is just very, very expensive. I would go with Cosmos. We're very bullish on Cosmos. Like our fund, Token Metrics Ventures, we have a lot of exposure to Cosmos projects. Developer wise, it's growing. Out of all those three, it's I would choose that because this has the most growth. Now, so just looking at this chart, Cosmo developers are just growing, right? You want a chart that looks like this, like even part-time devs and right? monthly commits is going up. Although there's a huge crash here. I'm not sure what happened. Now, if we do the same for the other products you mentioned, Polkadot, I mean, it's not looking good, right? The top was July, 2022, and it is on the decline. I don't know if good technology can save a sinking ship. Now, I'm not trying to, not trying to roast Polkadot, but this is not the chart you want to be investing in. <laughs> Maybe when it bottoms, but preferably you want to go where the developers are going, not where they're leaving the door. Although the commits, yeah, even the commits have been going down. Developers are leaving, commits are going down. What is the thesis to invest in Polkadot ecosystem? It's, it's basically that simple. Now, if we go to Cardano, so the top for Cardano was actually back in October 2022. So they went over 500 and now they've been going, on, going down. Uh, if we go down here, monthly commits. This has been very volatile. It basically goes up, down, a lot, down. It's very sporadic. I don't think you want that in your portfolio. Maybe you do, maybe there's more upside to it. Now, maybe you, you, you think there's lots of long-term potential based on the technology, and that's why you're in it. But eventually you have to see, see some real world results. And uh, Cardano has been around since 2018, and where are the results? And so after looking at, at those charts, let's go back to Cosmos. I mean, Cosmos is just nice and steady. It's, it's, it's going flat. So while Cardano and Polkadot are going down, Cosmos is staying flat in a bear market. Right? It's, it's, it's basically holding down the fort. So going back to your question, which ecosystem would I pick? I would go with Cosmos. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we have even more content for you at Tokyo Metrics. Get there using the link down below.